This is part three, the final video of my 1990 Haro single speed conversion mountain bike project. This thing turned out great. Uh, please bear with me as I try to talk over the construction that's going on across the street. I know those guys aren't going to be stopping anytime soon. I wanted to take advantage of this nice sunny day to show you guys the final outcome of this beautiful project. The paint just turned out excellent on this one. Uh, there's two coats of lacquer over that gunmetal paint. Some of the mods I had covered in the other video includes the shaved fender mounts on the fork, uh, shaved uh, water bottle cage mount on the down tube. Uh, there is a little fender uh, hole right here underneath the yoke there that was also shaved. All the cable guides for the shifting system were shaved off. Now these are a set of steel HJC rims. Uh, I released the, the back wheel with a 110 millimeter wheel spacing and that of a BMX bike. Uh, these dropouts were altered. And after seeing that come together so nicely, and the alignment was so good from the, the jig that I had used, I, I had to go forth and make these little chain tensioners. So these are little, little homemade set of chain tensioners that I had whipped up. Um, only running the rear brake on here. The chain tensioners were powder coated, the seat post was powder coated. Get a nice little slow pan over that. Um, and the, the chain ring bolts were powder coated. And the, the headset was powder coated. I made this little little custom racing plate here. Uh, it's in, inspired by the shape of the Haro flow panel. And I did heat the, the wings here with my heat gun to, to try to form them around there. but. You know, the, the type of plastic that I'm using just it didn't didn't take it too well. It, it was more curved at first, but when I zip tied it on there, it kind of softened up. It's uh, sorry to say, it just kind of it didn't really hold its heated form there. It this is actually a, a lid to like a, a rubber made storage coat, so it's a good flexible material that was appropriate for what I wanted to use it for. And I just laid out a pattern and cut it out with a. a little reciprocating handsaw and sanded the edges out and um, marked my holes and drilled them. And as I had stated before, I'm just, getting, just running that rear brake. And, you know, I had mentioned that I might do something with the pedals. You know after going that far and seeing that polished set of crank arms on there, I couldn't just leave those pedals alone. So now I'm, I'm way over invested in time on this bike. Um, I stripped the pedals, did a, did a light bit of polishing on the bodies, but I didn't go nuts. And then, uh, you know, I got every speck of black paint off of there and repacked the bearings in them. I'm amazed at just how strong that, that powder coating is for an at-home kit. I had bought one of those from Harbor Freight. I had watched another guy's YouTube video on it. And, you know, I thought, hey, let's give this a try. And I'm very happy with the results. I'm just doing some small parts on a, in a small toaster oven for now. But I'm, I'm hoping to be upgrading to be able to do larger things in the future. Very happy with the results on this one. Thanks for having a look.